Labouradaro. Pronoun dar, every pony. This is Brony Dan. It's not original, but hey, you try coming up with reality these days. Now, I know that many of the more observant of you will notice that there are a few episodes of MLP missing from my review series, which is mainly due to the fact that I was not around at the time to actually review them. Well, today, that is going to change, as I plan to try and get the missing episodes out as soon as I can before the end of the year. And it's time that we started off with Stranger Than Fan Fiction. We open with Daring Do going through that cave from Crash Twin Sanity to retrieve another artifact. Well, don't stop there. You read iPad. So Rainbow Dash is going off to a Daring Do convention and to say that she's excited. So excited. Is a bit of an understatement. You look like a pony who'd be up for an all-inclusive, one-of-a-kind adventure where you get to live the daring do experience. No thanks. Did that already. Yeah, when you've already met Caballeron and helped defeat Owie Zodal, you've pretty much done everything daring do related. However, she meets a fellow fan called Quibble Pants, voiced by Pat Noswalt, who you may recognize as Remy from Ratatouille. The hard part was figuring out the right number, number of, of arrow holes. holes. Be because on page 84 of Sapphire Stone, it describes her dodging a, quote, score of arrows shooting forth from holes in the very walls, unquote. But then on page 107, Daring Do says she, quote, barely made it past the trap's barrage of arrows, unquote. But clearly, Daring Do is embellishing, and the correct number of arrows is 20. Yeah, the difficulties in this season 13 scarf is knowing exactly how many stitches is needed for each color pattern because um, if we see on some of the publicity photos, you will notice that with this green section, there's apparently like 18 stitches. But what is noticeable about mine is that for some reason, they got the um, color patterns wrong because here, the red and the brown are in two different areas, which it should be the other way around. So clearly, somebody's messed that up and it's... So they spend most of their time enjoying various activities activities until Quibble Pants drops a bombshell. I'm not saying those books don't exist. I'm saying that I refuse to acknowledge them. Why? Because they're horrible. I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible. Ah, he's one of those fans. The type of fans who won't accept a certain piece of continuity because it goes against something that they hold dear to them. Oh, trust me, I have various reasons to think why you're an abomination. No. So Rainbow seeks A.K. Yearling, A.K.A. Daring Do, who is at the convention herself with an amulet that can lead to a treasure which Dr. Caballeron wants. And it turns out that Caballeron himself is at the convention. Why exactly would he be at a convention for his arch enemy? I have no idea. Also, does Caballeron know about A.K. Yearling and the books? Because you would think that being a smuggler and a tradesman, he could use that information to his advantage. He could demand royalties to his likeness and then use that manipulation to possibly bankrupt Yearling and wow, I am starting to get a headache just thinking about it. You know, this whole thing about fiction is reality that it introduced in season four has always just been a confusing mess. After another run in an argument with Quibble Pants, him and Rainbow Dash get captured by Caballeron, but Quibble Pants is convinced that it's all fake. We're actually being held captive by Caballeron. Please, this guy's accent is all over the place. Uh, no offense. So Caballeron leaves them with his henchmen, only for Quibble to trick them all, giving them the chance to escape. Oh, right. What daring do adventure would be complete without the precarious rope bridge? If this were really a daring do adventure, I'm sure I'd step on the wrong plank at exactly the wrong. Oh! Who do I save? You? Or you? Yeah! Yeah! Shockingly, you're less annoying. So Rainbow Dash saves Quibble only to be captured by Caballeron again as they have found the secret temple. This isn't the official Daring Do Experience Adventucation, is it? Finally! It's some cheap knockoff run by a bunch of incompetent ponies that have no idea how to execute this adventure with any level of safety. Please kill him. Seriously, he won't be missed. The only thing this 
this mess is missing is some giant Owie Zoda wannabe monster, and I have a feeling that would be a bit too much for you bargain basement adventurers to pull off. You know, when is reality actually going to come and hit him? And can it hit him hard, please? Um, you're real. This is real. This is real! Well, I was hoping for that thing to actually eat him, but whatever. But of course, Daring Do comes and rescues the both of them, so now the three have to find the treasure. We can't leave without the treasure. And we should probably get to it before our friend gets any higher. Hello! <laughs> Each door has another door that matches. These two both have earth ponies fighting serpents. These two have pegasi fighting griffins. These two have unicorns fighting bears. But this one... Has an alicorn on it! It's the only one without a match. How did I miss that? I've been asking myself that ever since book four. Dude, you're in the presence of one of your heroes. Now is not the time to get snarky about why she sucks. So they find the treasure and manage to escape and... Hey, how the hell did they get out so quickly? Uh, I swear I heard them. <laughs> Well, the adventure is now over and done with, but Quibble still isn't a fan of the later series. I love the daring dude that solves puzzles and uses her brain to get out of tough situations, and she did way more of that in the original trilogy. You love the daring dude that is brave and awesome and comes out on top no matter what the odds. Okay. And that's okay. We might never agree on what makes daring dude cool, but... You are definitely cool. Well, I think they've come to an understanding that, frankly, a lot of fan bases struggle to do within their entire lifespan. So, Stranger Than Fan Fiction is, I have to say, a decent episode. Yes, I did find Quibble Pants to be slightly aggravating, but I guess that was the intention. The clash of which version of a successful brand is a realistic situation I think many could relate to and have been involved in. I mean, for example, I much prefer classic Doctor Who over the new series, but I also say that series 10 and 11 of Red Dwarf is just as funny and entertaining as the original run. I'm not going to get into where I stand over the whole daring do is real debate because that's a clash in of itself. Overall, I do think this was one of the better episodes of season 6. A good moral, good characterization, overall good. This is Brony Dan saying, not star. When you see it your way, there's a chance that we might find